And we are back with the first level of Fruitland. You go back at the dream bag here, these ice pillars behind you are a hint of what you have to do. Although it's pretty, uh, uh <clears throat> excuse me, it's pretty obvious considering as how this is the only way you can potentially get to the other side of the island. So you make the ice cylinder, kick the block back there, and you can grab the dream bags. You gotta be careful with these spiky things which will come out when you do that, but all in all pretty simple for a first level. Did it just hit the noggle at me? Eh, whatever. Moving on. Now, remember the bomb from a few levels ago? Well, there's going to be more of those. Specifically, four going at the same time. Now, as you can see here, there's another ice cylinder here. Yet another hint of what you're supposed to do basically take out the ice cylinder and place it right in front of where they spawn so that they can't rush up to you and explode. And we're going to gradually do this because I do not want to screw this up and waste a life. Which I will actually do later, but... Is the ice pop worth it? Probably not, but I'm going to grab it anyway. And... Lock that, and we should be good to go for this stage. Now, the next level is going to introduce yet another enemy. And, in fact, a lot of the enemies are primarily introduced in Fruitland. Uh, the ones you're going to be dealing with on a regular basis, at least. These little clown things will kick balls at you, and they can be frozen, but their balls can't. Balls, 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 whatever. Now you're gonna notice I put an ice cylinder down to block that one. They can destroy the ice cylinders with their projectiles. So, if you're not careful, you're going to get sandwiched by both of them and end up dying. So, what you can do is put down a few of these. And that should keep them busy long enough for me to grab all the dream bags and get the hell out. See? Can't freeze them. Ooh, cherries. Funnily enough, I am sipping on a cherry Coke as I do this. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm drinking a glass of milk. But, I do like cherry Coke. Ah, this level. I call this one the Call of Duty, because you basically use the ice cylinders to block the turrets. It's basically like you're in a cover system the entire time for this level. Now you can go down there and grab the dream bag without placing the ice cylinder, but you'll have to do it eventually, so just get it out of the way. And another thing this game loves to do is test how greedy you are. Because, you see how the dream bag is there, but there are a bunch of ice pops that are like, just a little bit away from it and right in the path of the turrets? Yeah, I'm not going for those. Greed kills you in this game. And besides, your extra lives are going to come from the one-ups that show up on uh, certain levels, and not so much your score. So, not as much of a point at going for those. Ah, now this one you're going to have this raccoon-looking bastard coming after you the entire time. And you see all those noggles that spawned around the bottom? You're going to have to freeze them and then kick them up using the spring in order to uh, make a bridge to either side for the next dream bag. Excuse me. I'm going to need a couple more of these. Let's see if I can line this up. Ah, there we go. There are some levels like this which uh, you really just need to simplify what you need to do. Some levels, there will be like a ton of springs and a ton of gaps everywhere. You just have to think simply. What do I need to do in order to get to point B from point A? 
Simplification like that is crucial to be able to solve some of these puzzles. Now, you see the hammer up there? The block, hammer swings around, forms a bridge. And when the hammer's like that, you can kick one of these blocks into it to form a bridge to grab the uh, fudge pops. I'm assuming that's what those are, I still don't know. And grab the dream bag, and we're done. Strawberries? I like strawberries. Alright, now, here is an example of the kind of thinking that will get you killed in this game. Alright, see, I'm gonna freeze it. Oh god, oh god, I gotta grab the dream bag, but he's gonna shoot me, okay? I think if I do it real fast, I can be able to do it, okay? No! Now, here's what you're supposed to do. This is very simple. You just have to move in a counterclockwise motion, freezing these guys and kicking them into the turrets. These ice blocks are not going to break no matter how much they get shot, so just block the turrets with them. And stage complete. Now we're going to get a talkings to again about this palace from an orange. And this palace has sunken into the ocean. Uh... I probably can't help her out, dude. She probably drowned a while ago. But I'll do it anyway. After all, this is a magical fantasy world, so she's probably still alive. This one I got distracted while playing, so I'm gonna die right away. But, you probably noticed those cannons up top. Those will be the bane of your existence for the next couple minutes. What they'll do is they'll fire bombs that take out sections of ice, and while they don't actually destroy them, they do present a major obstacle toward your being able to get the dream bags. And you'll notice that they also push around the dream bags too, so depending on what they do with it, it'll affect how you want to approach this. And that's one thing though, they will sometimes destroy themselves by moving into their own bombs. Yeah. Alright, so let's try and take this very slowly so that I don't screw up again. Now that's one thing you can do is just wait until uh, they like shoot into the water and then grab it in that time period. What you can also do is freeze the cannon to make it stop, although it'll probably just turn around and shoot on the ice again, or wait for it to kill itself, that works too. This one, though, you'll pretty much have to freeze the cannon and take it down. Especially when it uh, moves the dream bag back towards its own spawn point like that. What I'm gonna do is wait here, freeze it, move in real quick, and kill it. Now, for this one, we've mainly just been kicking ice blocks around, but this next level, we're going to go back to using a combination of ice pillars and ice blocks in order to get where we need to go. You probably remember a level like this before from, uh, what was it called? Garden Land. I've already forgotten the name of it. But this one, instead of there being a gap that we can kick the blocks off the spring into, what we're going to have to do is kick the block, get it going on the springs, and then use an ice cylinder on uh, those lighter patches in order to stop it in place. As you can see, it doesn't work on these tiles. So stop it here, kick it down. Grab the one up. Oh, that block is thawing. There we go. Kick, down, do the exact same thing for this. Ice cylinder, and kick over. And just wait until the bomb's not there, and you should be able to grab the dream bag pretty easily. 